In today's video, we're going to be testing out some Amazon wing sublimation ornaments. So if you want to see how they turned out, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on your budget. I do cricket, sublimation, and now sewing videos. So if any of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family, and let's jump into this video. So these ornaments come in a five pack from Amazon and you can get them in gold or you can get them in silver. I got mine in silver. They come in a five pack for about $12 around there. They're really cute. They each come with a ribbon. They come with a metal plate, which is the part you're gonna sub on, which is about an inch in length and an inch in width. They're a circle. Um, the ornament itself is about 2.6 inches by 2.6 inches according to the dimensions on the Amazon thing. I feel like they were bigger than that. So let's just jump into sublimating so we're going to start off by taking our metal circular plates and we are going to use some heat tape this is a neat little trick and this is going to help us kind of hover over the design and place it exactly where we want it without taping it down and once you have it where you want it just press down to set the tape in place you're going to do this for all of yours i made my design a little bit bigger than the circle so that I can have a little bit of room to play with and some bleeding room to make sure that I didn't have any white lines around my circle. Okay, so when you have it how you wanted, we're gonna move to our heat press to press these. This is a good project to use your scrap piece of butcher paper, just fold it over, put it in, and press it at 385 degrees for 60 seconds. Once it is done, make sure to use your heat gloves because it is metal and it's gonna be really hot. So we're gonna take it over to our workplace and we're gonna let it cool down. Once it's cooled down, we're gonna take it off our paper and take off our heat tape as well. So this is how they turned out. And now there is adhesive that comes with it. And I just took off one side. It's a double-sided foam and you take off one side. I used the heat tape trick to put it on there. And then I pressed down once I had it where I wanted it. Then you take off the paper on the other side. And this is where you're gonna stick that little metal plate to. So make sure you use the heat tape trick, which will help you get it on there nicely. And again, once you have it where you want it, just press down. And these are great, great gifts for someone who has lost a loved one. Look how cute that is. So just press down firmly to make sure that it's in place. Do the same, repeat the same steps with all of your other ornaments You can use a weighting tool to help you take out that paper because it is a little hard to get get in there without kind of bending the foam. So you can definitely use a weighting tool to help you or a needle or something like that. Something that's thin and pokey, thin and sharp. So once you have finished putting the metal plates on, you're going to take the ribbon that came with the ornament and you're just going to tie a knot, graph both ends together and just tie a knot at the very end or however you wish to tie it. I simply just did a simple knot and pulled to secure the knot. And that was it. 
So I'm just going to repeat that for my second ornament as well. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know it was a short one. I recorded this a while ago. So I hope you guys enjoy them. I hope you try them out. I really loved how the ornaments came out. I think they're pretty decent quality um, and they would make a great gift for someone who has lost a loved one. Um, I know I'm probably gonna make myself one with my dad's picture on it. But yeah, they make great gifts. I love them, they're really special. They're really sentimental and I think they're a good gift. So try them out, let me know what you think about them. I'll have them linked in the description and be on the lookout for my membership coming next month. Um, I will be starting a Facebook group. I started it. I will have it linked down below. I haven't posted anything in it yet, but I'll have it linked down below and join the Facebook group so we can just interact and communicate and have fun and show each other what we're working on. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.